This is a portable touchscreen monitor for laptops and phones. Let's unbox this baby. Inside the box, I found the General Instructions version 2.0. the monitor cover case with the portable monitor inside. The cover also doubles up as a stand. Then we have a HDMI to mini HDMI cable. A USB to Type-C cable for power only. The power adapter for the USB power cable. A USB-C to USB-C cable definitely for data. The cover is magnetic and sticks behind the monitor. The back of the monitor is all metallic and it's definitely very slim. On one side is a micro USB port, a menu track wheel, a power button and a 3.5mm audio output jack. On the other side is a mini HDMI port and two full-featured USB-C data ports. Now let's use it. Take the USB-C to USB-C data cable. Connect one end to my laptop's Type-C port. Plug the other end to the monitor's Type-C port. The monitor instantly powers up and mirrors my laptop screen. You know what? My laptop don't have a touchscreen monitor. But with this portable touchscreen monitor, I can now control my laptop with my fingers. The touch control is responsive and smooth. With the right software, I can also now draw images on the screen. For my work, I will extend my laptop display and use the portable monitor as my second screen. How do I make my second screen vertical? Go to display settings on my laptop Select display number 2. Scroll down to display orientation. Select portrait and keep changes. With a second vertical screen, I can view long web pages or read documents. The size of the monitor is 15.6 inches with a full HD resolution of 1920 times 1080 pixels. So I can see tiny words clearly. For such a thin device, they have audio speakers built in too. The audio quality is not great, but it's better than having a monitor without any sound. You can use the HDMI cable to connect the monitor. However, you will need to plug in the power supply because the monitor does not have a built-in battery. Personally, I prefer less hassle and stick with the simple USB connection. How to connect the external monitor to an Android phone? Simply plug the USB-C cable from the monitor into the USB-C port on the phone. Lower the brightness down to level 3 to use less power and to prevent the monitor from shutting down. I noticed that when my phone is in the vertical position, it doesn't fill the entire screen, even when the monitor is also vertical. Anyway, I can now enjoy playing my favorite mobile game on a larger touchscreen monitor. So there you have it, the ZSC Mall 15.6 inch portable touchscreen monitor. Get yours from the promo link below. In the next episode, I will test this with the MacBook and the iPhone. This is Adrian Lee from Adrian Video Image. I will see you in the next one.